Well, another very beautiful morning, sunny morning, and uh, I thought I will just explore the good old Upper Thompson Road. Uh, this ever busy Upper Thompson Road, and uh, it's got uh, quite a few things to uh, to discover because all of us just drive through it and not realizing what it has got. Uh, this morning I'm going to explore the other side of uh, Upper Thompson Road and see what uh, we can find. But first of all, you can see this lush secondary jungle on this side. It's uh, really, really nice, cool, shady and very lush. Well, N Parks has um, put up a fence now to prevent uh, people from uh, getting into this uh, section of the jungle. And uh, just a week or two ago, a big tree fell over this fence and uh, caused it to be damaged, but they have now repaired it. The, the fence was badly damaged. And you can see it's an empty area here now. And Parks have um, recently planted a row of these uh, young trees along this side of the road. It's very nice. And uh, most of these trees uh, have names on them. So if you are interested in, in the names of trees, you can uh, come and take a look at them. And here you have the end of old Upper Thompson Road where it now joins into the existing Upper Thompson Road. Oh, a nice shrub of uh, Copsia singaporensis. Now, if you drive along this road, you will never be able to see this little hidden uh, jam here, I call it. It's, uh, it's uh, like a a tributary of a river that uh, ends here and there is teeming with fishes uh, inside and guaranteed to have no mosquito lava growing in there and it's just you know surrounded by thick secondary uh, jungle well this is a view of this uh, river or little lake from the side of the road and you can see it goes right inside as well unfortunately the jungle is too thick to uh, for me to explore further well I've uh, found my way into uh, this part of the uh, road and to get closer look at the pond that is here and uh, what I do notice is that there are a lot of uh, oil palm trees growing around this pond and there is this little, uh, there's a ficus tree here uh, that's growing here. Oh, there's a bit of a slippery slope here to get to the edge of water so uh, oh, I shall uh, give it a pass anyway. But anyway, it's good to know that there's a little jam of uh, water here that people can come and quietly do fishing. Well, Upper Thompson Road continues on and uh, at this uh, point here, it branches off into Thompson Nature Park. And uh, I think let's, uh, I'm going to walk in and take a look at Thompson Nature Park today. There you have it, opens from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Well, this is one of the uh, uh, very shady trails in Thompson Nature Park. It's very nice to walk on a bright sunny morning. Oh, well, there are a few noisy squirrels up here. Making noise. And you get to know each other, maybe. Yeah, there are three, four of them here. Well, as the story goes, there's something like about 400 rambutan trees were planted in this area by this Hainanese who lived here. 
a long, long time ago. And uh, <coughs> it was the major source of rambutans for the whole of Singapore in those early days. But today I don't see any more rambutan trees around here anymore. Don't see them anymore. Oh, it's the entrance or something. Oh, that's a flight of staircase here. Maybe I should go in and uh, see where it leads to. Okay, let's uh, follow this staircase and see where it leads us to. Uh, it's wet and slippery, got to be a bit more careful. Yeah, it goes all the way up. Up here. Ah! Here we are, it goes all the way here. Unfortunately, it is blocked. Oh, so it ends up in the old Upper Thompson Road. So I guess this could be the entrance uh, to the mansion inside there that belongs to a, a wealthy Hainanese. As you can see here, yeah, some uh, trackers have uh, uh, worn a path around this this uh, blockage, and then here we go, and it goes round, and uh, uh, just imagine in the old days, there's this rich man living inside here, and uh, you got to climb, you got to access his house to this uh, long flight of steps to his mansion. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yep. So it's actually very close to uh, Old Upper Thompson Road now. So here we are. Now, this is the entrance to his house, which is no longer here. Okay, and then the, uh, the steps again here. Actually, this is still part of his staircase, you know. And it's concrete and it's leading down, all the way down here. Ah. So this is uh, how the houses look like uh, in the old days. Yeah, look at that. At tap houses on stilts. Yep, so the uh, path leads again, going down. This is a very old concrete path and it leads to Mr. Han Wai Toon's farmhouse consisting of a master bedroom studio gallery museum I see and this would be how his, how his house looked like in the old days ah spider web uh, caught in the sunlight very beautiful so N Pax has built this uh, a stairway up to this uh, observatory platform I would call it so that you can have a nice panoramic view of uh, various parts of this uh, Thompson Nature Park and as you can see it's uh, full of lush greenery and there at the end there I can see there's probably an auditorium or something there where you can hold uh, functions of music recital etc etc and yeah you take a look at all these trees here so those of you who have not been here my suggestion is you do come out here and uh, explore this wonderful Thompson Nature Park very quiet very shady and uh, uh, lots of things to see here so okay with that I'm going to leave you at, at, this, at this platform here and uh, I'm going to continue with my walk and uh, you have a nice day goodbye